Oh, welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian. Uh, oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, how 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 are you, Reverend? I, I'm all right today. Welcome, viewers. Reverend Jimmy Ray here. Uh, Daniel, are you all right today? I feel sick. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, what, what's interesting, Daniel, is the Lord spoke to my heart driving over here to do this episode with you today that you weren't feeling very well today. I already knew that by the Holy Ghost. Wow. Now, have you been to the doctor? <laughs> Not yet, Reverend. Now, let me tell you something. By the Bible clearly says, I'm going to show you in the Bible, we don't need to go to them, they're doctors. You got the Holy Ghost, you got the Lord Jesus Christ. No need for medicine, no need for doctors. Don't even go. Really? You had any faith. Now, I'm going to prove it to you. By faith, this sickness, flu, disease, whatever you got, infirmity. <coughs> right, that's all right. <coughs> Let that phlegm out. <coughs> now, I'm not even going to worry about getting sick because Jesus is going to protect me. <laughs> I'm a child of God. I'm a man of God. Praise Jesus, Reverend. <coughs> Praise God. Now, let's look at the Bible. And I want you to believe God for a miracle. Because God does miracles today like he did back in the Bible years and years ago. I'm going to read you the Bible. And I'm going to pray the prayer of faith for you. And you're going to be healed. Do you believe it, Daniel? I, I believe, Reverend. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. The Lord just told me to read and to quote. The Bible from Mark 16, these signs will follow them who believe in Jesus. Do you believe in Jesus, Daniel? Yes, Reverend. One sign is that we believers shall lay hands on the sick person and they will recover. You don't have to go to no doctors. Then they're doctors, you don't need them. No science, no medicine, Jesus. One scripture and then we're going to pray. Are you ready to hear the Bible? Yes. I'm sure you're feeling bad, but hold on. Jesus is going to heal you. And you viewers that are skeptics out there, you're going to see a real live miracle. Hold on. Hold on. Book of James, the New Testament, Daniel. Chapter 5. Verse 13. Is any among you suffering? Are you suffering right now? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen. Then he must... Pray. Is any cheerful? He must sing praises. Here it is. Is anyone out there, including you, Daniel, are any of you sick? Are you sick, Daniel? Yeah. Then he, who's he? You, must call for the elders of the church. Who are the elders of the church? You got one right here. A real live Man of God, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers from the book of Ephesians. I'm the man of God. So here I am. It says right here, he must call for the elders of the church and they, the elders, me, are to pray over him. That's you. Anointing him with, what does that say? Can you read with your little sickness? Can you read that? Him with what? Oil. All in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick. That's it. The prayer offered in faith will heal and restore the one that's sick. Is this God's word, Daniel? Yes. Do you believe Jesus' word? I believe, praise. <laughs> right. It's time to relieve human suffering right now. No medicine, no science. I got right here, according to James chapter 5, olive oil, any kind of oil will do. It's just oil. The Bible says to anoint the sick with oil and the prayer of faith will save the sick among you. Let's do it. Okay, skeptics. Watch and learn. Get ready to fall on your knees and repent to Jesus of your atheism. You're going to see a miracle right now. Daniel, have faith. Whatsoever you ask, believe, and you shall receive. You ready? 
Ready, I'll do the work. You just Jesus. believe and let the Holy Ghost take over. Let me get my little anointed Holy Ghost finger on the oil. Oh, praise Jesus, the anointed oil. Let me touch your forehead. Move your hair a little bit back. You got to be on the head. According to the Bible, we're going to pray in the name of the Lord and you will be re healed and restored. Y'all look, y'all watch now. Here we go. The power of God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this flu bug, whatever it is, and I pray healing and restoring to my new Christian friend, Daniel. Lord Jesus, heal him now. Take away the fever. Woo. Your head's kind of hot, Daniel. I think it's a fever. Lord God, in Jesus' name, heal him now. In the name of Jesus. Now, let's say amen together. Amen. Amen. Now, oh, I'm, I'm ready to see a miracle. Y'all observe. Empiricism. You all go atheists want to know about empiricism? Here you go. Daniel, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel? I, I feel all better. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> well, he's still coughing. Let's see if the fever's still there. Uh, well, it's still a little warm, but it's a couple degrees cooler. Let's try it again. Uh, oh, it's a little cooler. Praise you, Jesus. It's a miracle. You did it, Reverend. Look at this. You're strong again. Look at this. He's better. He's moving. It's a miracle. Thank Jesus for the miracle. We hope you continue to join us as we grow as Christians. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank God.